Good morning, folks. I hope everybody is doing well. Okay, today I'm going to do a first print of this lino block here. This is the first print I'm doing outside and it feels incredibly humid today. It's not windy though, um, so I'll do this while the weather's on my side. Now this block, I actually used an off cut of lino to do this. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a straight edge here where it, that was the edge of the block. Problems uh, when I print and it's going to be obviously straight there, but we'll see. If it is, maybe I'm just going to have to cut off more of this detail around here. Uh, yeah, so I'll see how we get on. Right, in front of me here, I've got, um, this is ink from, I need to put some more ink on here. This is from a previous print. And again, I'm going to use the Speedball screen printing ink. And if you are wondering why I'm using this, uh, I mentioned this in another video. All right, let's see. I actually had some issues mounting the camera this morning because I was looking outside thinking, where am I going to attach this clamp thing? And I thought, aha, the kitchen unit. And before, oops, I'm getting really mucky already. Before I tried mounting it to the cat box, uh, and the camera was just too heavy. It's just the, the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? The bit that holds the camera, the kind of crane bit. It was just too heavy and it kept falling off. I say cat basket. They're made of plastic these days. Remember the days they were made of wicker. And I'm still not really sure how much of this ink to actually use. So I've just put on, I don't know, just over a teaspoon, let's say. And I'm just going to get some tissue. I'll be right back because my hands are inky already. The humidity feels like it's also messing with the tablet a bit when I'm pressing pause. Um, but anyway, so I'm just going to roll out the ink. And this is a fabric roller that I'm using in the other video because it is screen printing ink for fabric. And this ink is a lot slippier than, say, normal, the, the usual ink you might use for relief printing. You know, particularly as I'm printing onto paper. And there's nothing special about the paper. It's just like a cheap craft paper pad that I bought. But I really like that brown colour. Okay, I think that's probably all right. So I'm going to put that to the side. Now, let's put something underneath that so I don't get ink all over my sarong. <laughs> I'm trying. I've got such a small space here. I'm just so conscious of, like, knocking things over. Anyway. I'm just going to move that tray out of the way entirely. This is very much a practice <laughs> video of inking outside. Oh, okay. Put the paper aside. Now, maybe I'm going to need to do this twice because being a first inking, the block hasn't really been primed. But let's see how we go with this. Probably do it. Doesn't look like the actual detail on the, the the sun rays, if you like, it doesn't look like that much has been picked up, so maybe I won't have a problem with this edge after all. Okay. So as I said, this is craft paper. I don't know, maybe 80 GSM as a guess. I'm not really sure. Okay. I mean, the advantage of that straight edge is actually being able to see, like, where it's straight. Let's put it a bit up a bit here. Okay. Now, to burnish it, I don't have a wooden spoon, which I know is kind of a favoured way of hand burnishing, and that's what I used to use. So I've got this uh, Quaker. I don't know how you pronounce that. Quaker. This, this old light that doesn't really work that somebody gave me. So I'm going to use the end of this, which is what I used in my last video. So now this bit, I'm sorry, it's probably going to shake quite a bit because the surface is attached to the, uh, the printing surface is attached to the camera. So I'm trying to do this as gently as possible. 
Yeah, see, this is another thing I need to think about how I'm gonna mount a camera to something that I'm not using as a as a surface to do this. Okay, let's just see how that side's coming up. Yeah, looks like there's enough ink. Yeah, I mean, I prefer a wooden spoon. But I've been here 18 months now and not had a wooden spoon at any point. Oh, the camera's actually now slipping as well. <laughs> the logistics of doing this outside. Without sturdy furniture. But I'm glad I found this out now instead of doing like finding this out on a much longer video. I'm right, just doing another quick whiz around the edge. Ooh. Looks like it needs a little bit more here. I guess I didn't put that much ink there. Maybe there's some sort of resist. Perhaps there's oil from my fingers on the block. Or perhaps... I didn't put... Now I need to adjust the camera after that. Okay, there we go. And there we are. Yeah, I like it. I am wondering whether on this side, actually it would be easier to show you on the block, you see where this brow ridge is, just on the outside here, to do the same effect there, which I think, off the top of my head, technically it should be like that if I'm kind of roughly following the planes of the head, but it's very rough, I mean, it doesn't really. And yeah, and I'll give you a little close-up of the print. So overall, yes, I like it. I like the image. Uh, it needs a bit of tweaking, perhaps here and there. But I don't. I haven't had that problem with the straight line. So yeah, I'm pretty much happy with that. <laughs> Inky fingers. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Bye bye.